welcome to Brewview TV. I'm Hamp Tanner, and here in the beer garden once again, on my right, Ed Hall. On my left, the new guy. Hello. The nervous new guy. I'm very nervous. Behind the wheels of steel is Pia Wadkins, our new filmographer. Free necklace. And the, uh, the beer we are about to review is Anderson Valley Summer Solstice Cerveza Crema. Crema, cerveza crema, 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 yeah. crema, crema, yeah, there you go, right, uh, Anderson Valley Brewing is in Boonville, California, Mendocino County, mm -hmm. it's a good county, it's gorgeous, gorgeous, <laughs> this beer is 5.6 ABV, <laughs> a little low for you What's guys, What's the point, yeah, I know, and, you know, just out of curiosity, I just I, I saw somewhere that this is four IBUs. Are you at the Brewers so, Convention? Yeah. I was just you know chewing the fat with some brewers, and they're like, "Man, that thing's only got four IBUs." And you're like, "What?" Well, so what you can expect is this one's not going to be bitter. No. All right, let's get done. Look at that I nice saw, head. I saw this other guy do this. This is a nice head. That head is a little that little <laughs> off white, and I like that kind of a butterscotch color on that head. Kind of an orangey, coppery, with just a touch of cloudiness, just enough cloudiness to be respectable. Fantastic. Malty smell. It's cloudy. Chance of rain. Hmm. Chance of meatballs. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't seen that movie? You got kids? Come on. No. You don't have kids. Cloudy with <laughs> What's your excuse? Well, we have friends that have kids. Uh. Hmm. Mm. I think there's a like a little there's something little in there. fruit in that uh, in the in the scent as well. A little maltiness, little fruit. Let me taste there's it. There's something sweet in there. I was gonna say. Did you do your homework? No. Mm. Mm. I do like I do like the mouthfeel, the thickness, the creminess. Crema, 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 and I think it's a little biscuity. That, does that make sense? No, that makes no sense. Like an air biscuit? Yes. <clears throat> I think biscuity, sure. Whatever cream they're saying it is, some sort of Well, a... I think that, that maybe there's a little hint of vanilla going on. Yeah. A little vanilla. All right, that makes it's getting sense. boring. Let's wrap it. Jeez. What do you think it tastes like, guy? A little bit. A little bit sweet. Solstice? Uh, you know, maybe banana. A little banana. That's not bad. You getting some banana? Bad, little, not bad. A little banana-ish. A little banana, vanilla, which are two good flavors to me. It's not overly fruity or overly sweet, but it's not unsweet. It seems that they're accomplishing what they're trying to accomplish, but not necessarily my bag. Not your bag. Not maybe. my bag. It's no. a creamy ale, not really your no, brew of choice. Yeah, not my bag. Yeah. But, uh, you know, not bad, but just not mine. Not your thing. Not my thing. Cup of tea? Yeah. Beer? Cup of beer? Yeah. Well, how would you rate it com compared to other creamy ales or, you know, you can't compare it to IPA no, or something? No, you're right. Well, I think it's got character, which is, you know, I think part of the goal in a, su a, a seasonal ale is to... Make sure it's got some kind of character. Valid point, valid point. You're not going to be drinking it all year long, but kind of special occasion type of deal. Can you see yourself drinking this while you watch somebody mow your yard? Yeah, I'll drink anything when somebody's mowing my yard. Juan <laughs> with his uh, doozy, Daisy Dukes. Yeah. You like watching that? Uh, that's right. Hmm. Revving your belly. All right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Derek, let's score it. I'm re-scoring mine because I thought about it, had another set. Okay. One, here, here you go. I got it, I got it. No, 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 these things are not free. You're right, they're not. Okay, you ready? For those of you that are new to Brew Review TV, and I can't imagine that that many people are new. No, I think everybody's watching it now. We do the secret write down simultaneous reveal, and we will reveal this simultaneously now. now. I went with a 90. 88. 87. 87? 87. You are way low. It was at 85. Yeah, but well, I thought about it, and I think I would drink another. 
you know, in fairness, I mean, I think it's good. We're IPA guys. Yeah. We like stouts. I mean, this is not our normal <laughs> style of beer. But I like it because it's got really good flavor. I like it. You know, I like yeah. it. I would drink another one. You're just going to underscore it. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to just underscore them <laughs> for the the uh, crossbreed of a bear think, and a deer. I think it's a good effort. I give it a, a a 90, which means I'll have another. So if you guys have any in your fridge at home and you don't want them, bring I them my 88, way. I'll have another. Yeah. 87. 87, have you'll have another. All right, we'll all have another, please. So that's we're respectable. Good. You know, I mean, we're not, you know, crazy on the specialty brews so much. You know, I mean, you know, we're very old school. We've been brewing a long time. I think we need to step outside our comfort zone. That makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's wrap this up. Uh, let's see, Anderson Valley Summer Solstice Cerveza Crema, a good beer, we'd all have another. If you've tried it, tell us what you think, and if you haven't tried it, then go get it, although it's getting probably uh, scarce on the shelves, seeing that we're moving into autumn. You better get it now. Get it now. And that's our show, thank you for watching, and remember, drink hard, drink fast, drink often. <laughs>